Hi YouTube, this is uh, Amy, and I'm clicking things. Uh, this is a video response to my sister's video, which I will leave in the description. And uh, it was about her first, her a uh, first date that went horrible. And I've never heard the story. I don't know. We're sisters. We live together. Never told me a story. Never did. So when I when I was watching this, I, I just like wow that that sounds no you didn't that sounds really horrible so I decided to make one about myself so she wouldn't feel so bad now uh, this guy I wasn't particularly attracted to I didn't know him very well but what I did know he wasn't really my type and uh you know he did drugs and drank alcohol and I'm really clean and straight edge and I, I don't do any of that stuff so so I he's been asking me out for a year and I'm like okay fine we'll go on a date why I, pity <laughs> no offense sir but if you ever watch this sorry but it was a complete pity thing uh so I finally agreed to go on this date and what happened was you know the first thing I noticed when he walked in was that his eyes were focusing downward if you get my drift you know he was looking at my boobs I'm sorry I'm just gonna say it <laughs> and uh you know I understand that's a, what guys do I, I try not to play it too you know just like okay so he came over to my house, my my family was home, to watch a movie. Uh, so, so he sat down, and then I sat down, and it, you know that like really subtle scooching over closer to the girl you're on a date with? Well, imagine that not so subtle, like, I'm just gonna shove my body onto yours type stuff. And that's exactly what he did. I did. I was, uh... I was literally sitting on the armrest of the couch because I didn't want him touching me at all because I you know first date I'm not I'm not a touchy-feely person on the first date you know unless I'm somewhat attracted to the guy like maybe maybe that would be okay if our knees touched but I'm not it, it was like really bad so he brings over his movies and uh you know, I'm expecting to watch one movie. And of course he brings three movies and it was the Resident Evil series. Um that that was really weird cuz uh I really only expected to watch one movie. So what happened was we were sitting down and he does the gradually moving closer thing till I have no room and I can't move anywhere and um at one point I say oh I gotta get up and go to the bathroom uh, I don't know if he noticed but I took my phone to text my sister that this date was going horrible because it was my sister's friend and uh I come out and he said let's order Chinese food I'll pay and I'm like okay Chinese food yummy I guess so he orders what he wants and I order what I want when the food gets here he just doesn't eat now I understand some people don't have a big appetite but it's really awkward like really cause when I when I wasn't done eating when he was um he watched me eat like as if he was impressed and I just that made me feel uncomfortable because I don't like it when people watching eat, especially on a first date, you know, wasn't really my idea to eat. So, by the way, his leg was still touching me the whole time we were eating, which is just retarded. And uh, after that, finally, like the movies, they go on forever and he talks and tells me everything before it happens. And uh, I've never seen the Resident Evil series before. It was really good, actually. I like that movie. But I, when you're watching a movie that somebody doesn't watch, you don't say what's going to happen. I mean, that's just poor, 
poor, <laughs> it's bad behavior. So, after all that movie watching, he puts in the last movie, and he, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm ecstatic. I'm like, finally, it's almost done. I don't have to do this anymore. I don't have to watch him. <laughs> watch me. Um, so we're watching the movie, and you know, he's doing the, this is gonna happen, this is gonna happen, watch this. And, uh, then we have a conversation during the movie about his birthday it's coming up. And he said, there's only one thing I want for my birthday. And I asked, oh, what? And he sends... He's like, hold on, I'll send you a text. I'm like, we're sitting right here, dude. You can just fucking tell me. No. He grabs his phone, sends me texts, and asks me to make out with him. On the first date? Do people do that on a first date? Because that is no date that I've ever been to. Or ever, like, seen. I, it's, I think a first kiss is just a little weird on a first date. But that was insane. I'm like, first of all, dude, this is like the second time we've met. And you're, and you know, we only talked on the computer and you're already asking me to make out with you. Don't be, don't be stupid. No, I'm not going to make out with you on the first date. That's retarded. I don't even like you. Maybe if you were a little cuter and a little nicer and a little less, ugh then perhaps I would make out with you. But this is the first date, so it probably wouldn't have happened anyway if you were cute and interesting and a better human being all around. But, <laughs> sorry. I'm being a little harsh. So after the date, I give him a hug. Now, when I give people a hug, um, that necessarily means that that was okay. Well, not for him. That was a good date, but I'm not interested in you enough. When I'm interested in someone, I'll probably give them a peck on the cheek or make it a long hug. That's what I plan on doing when I go out on my date Monday. But, uh, so after that, this whole situation went down where I found out that he was still talking to one of my friends that he you know, try to get with before, and, uh, trying to get with her, saying that he wanted her to be the baby mama, I don't know, it was so retarded, so, like, this whole time, he was talking to her on a date with me, and, uh, you know, he, I don't know how he didn't realize he was gonna find out, because me and this girl used to be best friends, and, uh, you know, she was on the videos, and then we started talking again, so I don't know how that, that didn't come up <laughs> as, like, something he shouldn't probably say in front of her. Anyway, so, after all that, you know, a year after that date, like, a year, me and my friend start talking, she tells me the details, and I said we went on a date, and I hated it. And she brought it up, talking to him, saying that, I heard you went on a date with Amy. And he said, oh yeah, we had a really fun time. It was great. Sure. You thought it was great because I didn't slap you away when you moved close. You know, I should have. I should have been like, bitch. Back down, back down. So, I decided to make this video. It's just kind of informational the guys who think that it's okay to like really move quite fast on dates it's uncomfortable and on first dates you never really know if you like someone so that kind of judgment is placed on that moment it is but uh would not mind if uh the guy that i'm going on a date with asked me to make out with him no please don't <laughs> uh he's he's he, this guy he wasn't he was nice. He he was fun, but not my type of fun. And I, I'm just, you know, after that I had a good date. Didn't it was good, and the guy was nice. But at the time I wasn't ready for a relationship, and just didn't hit off. We didn't connect. 
But I'm really hoping it goes well on my date Monday because I really like the guy and he really likes me, I think. Well, that's what he told me. So, I can't wait and I can't wait to give you guys updates on that date. Oh, it's going to be so fun. I'm really, really excited. So, talk to you guys soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my long 10, 11 minute story and I'm planning on making a video when I get home after doing my hair for the prom so you guys can see what I'm working with. So thank you so much for watching and um, I hope she'll watch this so she can understand how terrible that date was with that guy. Ugh awful and I hated his name too Randy Ugh. sounds like a salad dressing that just disgusting <laughs> okay sorry any Randys out there thank you again I'm thanking you all the time now and I hope that we all have a wonderful day good morning by the way good morning bye so, oh. Trying to turn this off and I'm failing.